Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today we're going to uh, play again with my niche. So another funny video, I hope. Uh, so what, what we're going to do today? What inspired me to make this video? Uh, well, uh, you know, I like grinders. Yeah, I like uh, read about grinders. I like to uh, watch uh, videos about grinders. So I've noticed there are as far as I know, there are two grinders in the world, or maybe more, but I know about two. Two grinders in the world, uh, conical grinders that they use uh, two burr sets. Uh, so there is one burr that crushes the beans very coarsely, and then there is another burr set uh, below that that makes the, the fine uh, grinds. Uh, apparently, that can improve the flavor a lot. So I thought. Well, I'm a clever, I'm a clever boy here. Yeah? I'm a clever boy. I've got a niche. Uh, nobody thought about it before. I'm gonna grind coarsely on the niche and then I'm going to, to grind it again. And I will have uh, the, maybe the same results as from, let's say, Cafetec uh, uh, MC4, which costs uh, probably more than five times whatever the niche costs. But no, then I look, look through the YouTube and actually James Hoffman did that video. James Hoffman did that video like a year ago. <laughs> uh, but I thought, well, you know what? James is James. My name is Jack. <laughs> so let's let's do it today. OK, so, yeah, I thought up, up, up until uh, probably last week that this is this will be my uh, idea. But no, there are there are videos about this. But I will use La Pavoni today, so I'm, it's not exactly the same as... Uh, so we're going to do the coffee. Okay, the coffee we're going to use today, I think you've seen it on my show before. So it's a Good Life Coffee Los Pozos from El Salvador. And the tasting notes, honey, grapefruit and chocolate. Honey, ba grapefruit and chocolate. I, I think that's a nice combination for uh, single origin coffee. So the, the what, what I'm going to do today very quickly. I won't waste too much of your time 15 grams of coffee. I will grind it like I normally do uh, on the on the niche Have a sip So for the second shot uh, First I will grind really coarsely and then I will grind it again for for the for the about the same settings as as, as I used for the first shot and we will compare and we will see and we will see is it a, is it a, is it is the way to save because if that's if that works maybe i already saved you guys uh, thousands of pounds you know <laughs> if you can achieve i mean i don't have a cafe tech so i cannot put those two side by side because that would be the all and then we so that's why this is like a funny video more than more than anything else but uh, let's 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 see what we can get so as always i use uh, 30 seconds of pre-soaking pre-infusion drops by going in it's time to and we've got terrible channeling And 25. So the timing was right. Uh, maybe I should grind it one notch finer. Uh, there was some channeling, as you could see, but the shot itself looks looks nice. Yeah. So the first shot. If, by the way, if you don't know what to blame for channeling, always blame a coffee. Never blame yourself. So I blame the coffee for the <laughs> for the awful channeling that you could see. Uh, but the sh the shot itself looks nice. I can actually I can smell those those grapefruits. Ah, ah yeah, I almost forgot. Cheers. Very good shot. I can taste honey. I can maybe not a grapefruit. I can smell grapefruits. I'm not really. Maybe you know what? Yeah, let's say honey. I can I can actually taste all of that. I'm wondering, and I said it before, how much of that is a psychosomatic? So you read what you're supposed to taste, and then you kind of that influence what you really taste. Uh, 
uh, a little bit too much bitterness for my liking uh, but otherwise very very good shot and that coffee has been in a freezer for months yeah apart from that uh, maybe the temperature maybe it was a temperature apart from that um, bitterness that it's notch too high for me the rest is perfect so let's let's pull another shot but this time we will we will have fun with 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 the niche at the moment i'm at number uh 11 in between 11 and 12. so i want to go as coarse as possible so i will go to number uh let's say 50. when you make those huge adjustments there will be either some retention or, or or exchange or whatever so there there's there is always something doesn't matter if it's a niche zero or or df64 or, or, or whatever there is there will be always something stuck somewhere in between i'm wondering how the noise will be on the eureka oro when i grind very coarsely the whole room vibrates doesn't look that coarse to me I don't want to clog the, the grinder, so I will be slowly feeding in. You have to kill the safety switch. So I use uh, whatever, any pin. So, well, I don't want to scratch it, so that's why I use, I use this just to press on a safety switch. So, so I can operate the grinder with the open top, otherwise it wouldn't start. So see right now it won't start because of that safety switch so first i will go back to the settings that uh, i used before uh, if you do it at home uh, well if something happens to you or your grinder this is not my fault okay well but we are an adult so let's experiment it's it is possible to clog the grinder so Take number three. The first shot was well too fast on the settings that uh, the, 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 the previous shot, the one that was normally the, the just grinded once, went very nicely. But the, the, the shot that was grinded twice on the same settings was too fast. Then I've done another one on the setting five and it was still under extracted. So now the last chance I'm on the setting number one on uh, niche this one will be too core too fine yeah but whatever it is i will taste and i will show you guys and still got some nice channeling yeah okay Well, the shot looks terrible. Uh, well, the one thing I noticed straight away that's much less crema than the previous one. <laughs> yeah, so I've got that shot. Doesn't look great. Uh, if you want to repeat that uh, test yourself, uh, experiment with the grind setting. So, uh, I mean, I, I don't know how that would be, but probably something similar would be on the semi-automatic. I thought La Pavone would be better. It looks like it was it wasn't uh, today for today's. Uh, but you know what? If this tastes well, then okay, I can I can take it. So let's let's have a look. Yeah, smells exactly the same. Okay, it reduced. It reduced both the sourness and the bitterness of the previous shot, and what's left is something in the middle. Okay. But that something in the middle itself is a little bit boring. <laughs> if that's how uh, um, Cafetec MC4 tastes like, uh, I'm not sure if I, I would be happy. It's like the, the, the interesting stuff was taken away and I'm left with something in the middle. Uh, let's taste it again. That, that honey sweetness is, is kind of gone uh but the bitterness is gonna so some people may, may well some people may actually prefer this one for me for me this is one is a bit a bit boring and um, i'm not saying you have to experiment but if you do please leave the comments in the description below if some of you if any of you had a chance to compare both cafetech mc4 and the niche 
that obviously tell us tell all of us what we are missing um, this is more like a funny video today than anything else and I was so frustrating I actually I actually thought that I would give up as a, if, 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 if there's one thing that I hate is wasting a good coffee okay and I've wasted a few shots already today uh, but the, the results are there is a difference okay so that's that's if there was no difference that would be a terrible that would be a disaster for today's video okay so there is a difference okay is it something that you should do probably not it takes too much time the mess because of the static when you grind on the on the uh, high settings it's 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 awful but you know we we coffee geeks we like to experiment with 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 our toys so yeah if you have time you may you may do it and tell me how you like those shots um in the last video i asked you about your recommendations which next coffee machine would you like to see you can still leave comments but it will be uh, predictions now than the recommendations because there is a new machine coming to this channel and now that's official uh, with a bit of luck we will do unboxing next week and the new machine will be well you have to wait till next week but uh, i said with the big bit of luck because i uh, this weekend i travel to i'm not sure when i'm when i will upload this video but this weekend uh, so that's the first weekend of, of March I travel to Poland so if if they recruit me to the army or whatever then I, you might not see me again soon or maybe maybe the next video you will see it's, it's from the front line me doing a pour over on the Polish Ukrainian borders uh, maybe serving the, the coffee to the soldiers with the big sign on please don't shoot to barista uh on on me but if if i'm lucky to come back then uh, next week we will do the unboxing of of the new espresso machine for this this show i hope you will like it i will also by next week i should have uh ssp bars for df64 so that will be something that at, at some point i will have to install but I want to do a few, few videos first with the item mill bars on the DF64, especially like a DF64 versus niche something that I, I haven't done before. We still have two hand grinders, so, uh, well, plenty of things to on this channel, guys. So definitely click like, okay? Took so much effort to, 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 to do those two shots, even though the results are, are kind of... Uh, uh, not not what I was expecting and uh, if you haven't subscribed so you won't miss the the future videos but for today thank you very much for watching my name is Jack this is my coffee show and hopefully I will see you soon thank you bye